What is going on everyone? Jack here from Half Chrome and this is the DJI Mini 5 Pro. And you might have heard you can't get this in the United States. Well, I'm in the United States and I've got it. So you can, it is not easy to get in the United States. But I'll tell you how to get it. I'll also tell you a little bit about this thing. I have not had it for long. This is not a review, but I have flown enough batteries that I can give you some pretty solid information on this. What I like, uh, the definite upgrades uh, that you should consider. And, you know, if you're not up for the hassle that you have to go through, this actually might be the drone you want to get, the Sky Rover X1. So I'll talk a little bit about that as well. Uh, but let's talk about this guy, the DJI Mini 5 Pro. So as you look at it, you'll notice the two biggest differences right up front. We've got this gigantic one inch sensor and we've got LiDAR. So it has better obstacle avoidance. Now I did put the obstacle avoidance to the test and it actually failed. Uh, I'll get to that in a little bit, but I want to talk a little bit more about this camera. It is fantastic. The Mini 4 camera was really good, but this one is just dynamic. And the gimbal is actually different. It does a full 180 degree rotation. So you can get some really cool shots. It even has a new quick shot uh, that you can use to utilize that new gimbal. Really cool stuff. I'm excited to do more of that. But let's talk a little bit about some of the other things that are unique and different. Uh, quick release propellers. Now that may sound like, well, not a big deal, but that actually is really nice when you have to swap them out. Uh, the screwdriver can take a little bit of time. Uh, overall, this is a better drone. It does have uh, some really nice sensors in the bottom. We got the light. SD card goes in the back, but they've also upped the storage. There is 42 gigs of storage on this thing, so you can record some on board. And then, of course, add your SD card. Flight time has been improved, as has the transmission. It's 04 plus, so you get up to 20 kilometers. That's like 12 miles. You're not going to fly that far. And I can tell you, it is a better transmission signal than the original Mini or than the Mini 4, I should say, obviously than the original Mini. Now you get 36 minutes, or they say 36 minutes of flight. Now I did a full flight test of this guy. You're gonna wanna see that. I also did a kind of walk through the app. So if you're curious how the app works on this guy, I have that video as well. Those aren't done yet, but I'll get those out to you. So if you're looking for more info or more content on the Mini 5 Pro, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll get that to you. Now it's supposed to be under 250 grams. It actually doesn't say that uh, like the other ones do, um, which is kind of sad. Uh, but, you know, when I, when I put this guy on the scale, it actually was 252 grams. So two grams over. So I guess I could shave some of these parts down or pull some of this plastic off. I wish this came with a smaller, lighter battery. You can get the Pro battery, so you get up to 52 minutes of flight time, but I would actually really like a smaller, lighter battery with less flight time that allowed me to put prop guards on this that kept it under 250 grams with the battery so you can fly over people. Gosh, that'd be great. Why don't they do that? I don't know. Another thing that's actually really cool is when you unfold the arms, it will... power up. So that is a bonus. I like that. I was a big fan of when uh, they added that to the Air 3S. Just makes getting in the air just that much quicker. And also when you fold it back up, it's going to... Aircraft will power off in five seconds. Press any button on aircraft to cancel. It also powers down. So that is a bonus. They do have this button here, which doesn't actually have any functionality yet. I wonder if they were going to add some functionality like you have with the Neo where you can kind of fly this drone without a controller. That'd be awesome. Love to see that. Maybe it'll happen. Maybe it won't. Who knows? So yeah, this is a great drone. It is fantastic. This is going to be my new travel companion. I used to bring the Mini 4 with me everywhere I went. Uh, now I'm going to bring this. Yes, I do have better drones. Um, this guy, the Air 3S, it's just so big. And the convenience of this little guy just makes it really easy to bring with me. So how did I get this? Well, I bought it on eBay. It cost me about $1,200 worth of Fly More Combo. I shipped out of Korea. It took basically two days. Totally impressed. So I had to pay a little bit of a premium 
uh, to get it to me, but $1,200 for the Flymore combo. Uh, I'll put some info on where I got it in the video description if you want that. But if you're not up for that hassle, actually, I'd suggest looking at this. This is the Sky Rover X1, and if you're not familiar with Sky Rover, yeah, it looks like a DJI drone. Well, because it is, essentially. So Sky Rover basically has licensed this design from DJI, and they sell it on Amazon. And it's fantastic. I've been flying this drone quite a bit. So if you want to forego all of the hassle that comes with buying a DJI drone, maybe consider this guy Rover. If you want more info, I've got plenty of videos on this guy as well. Check the video description for that or subscribe to the channel. So I've got lots of content on the way for this guy, the Mini 5 Pro. Make sure you subscribe if you want to know more. And how will this be supported in the United States? That's really gonna be interesting to be determined. One more thing before I go, if you're thinking about becoming a Part 107 pilot, I've got videos and tutorials uh, for you, lots of information and uh, even more stuff for people that are on our Patreon. So check that out also in the video description. Thanks for watching. Good luck everyone and happy flying.